All right, that was the first cup. Let's take a look at the Queen Cup. Um, like I said before, I will be going through each of the cups on each difficulty. I'll, to my best of my ability, I don't know if I'll be able to handle the hardest difficulty, but I'll definitely give them a try. Uh, these are not the only cups in the game. We'll be getting more later, but for now, we'll have to work with these. Uh, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to use most of the ships in the game at some point. We started out with Mighty Gazelle or Red Gazelle because it's the only fitting. Let's go to let's go to Captain Falcon for the for the next cup, the staple of the F Zero franchise. I think Captain Falcon uh, is definitely the most balanced character in this game. He's what can you say? He's Captain Falcon. He's the most balanced. All there is to it. We're gonna see a big difficulty spike. Maybe not like a huge difficulty spike, but you'll notice. Well, I'll notice. You guys will watch. I'm sure a lot of you out there who are good at this game will be like, Oh, what do you do when you suck? Well, too bad. I play games for fun, not to be experts at them. I know there's a, uh, a famous kind of trick where you've got to like, grind into the side. I don't know how it's done, and I don't plan on trying it. Because that's mainly for speedrunners and whatnot. Which is fine. I'm glad people love to do that. Speedrunning is fun. Fun to watch anyway. Never tried it myself. Another great soundtrack in F Zero. Miss that boost pad, whatever, it's fine. Victory is ours. There I go, hitting my mic again. Right from the face. <clears throat> One quick second. There we go. <clears throat> Captain Falcon first place, followed by Blood Falcon. Blood Falcon's kind of like an evil twin, I guess. He was cloned from... Captain Falcon's DNA, which is kind of cool. <coughs> I remember one of the tracks in this cup giving me a lot of trouble. I don't know. I don't think it's this one. It might be. It might be toward the end. Look at this cluster blank. Get out of here. Like I said, first lap, just get out of the pack in the middle. That's your only real goal. Don't worry about getting first. You got power. Uh, the first game in the series on the Super Nintendo, it's pretty fun. I'm not a huge, uh... That was a little bit before my time. This is when I grew up, was the onset of 3D graphics and whatnot. Super Nintendo was just before my uh, gaming, I guess, first experience. Although, growing up in the late 90s and early 2000s, stuff like that was definitely still around, so I did get a good amount of experience with them. And I have the first game on uh, Wii U eShop. That one wasn't too bad. Alright, first place! Ah, right, uh, that guy's so, he's so cool. I want to be like that announcer when I grow up. 
All right, first place, you've got boost power. Yeah, the final lap. That was a terrible impersonation, but you guys get the idea. Uh, what track is this? I didn't look at the name. Devil's Forest 2, right after the first one. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta kill someone. I gotta show you guys the attacks. This isn't the best track to try to do it. Honestly. Um, the best track to do it are ones where like you can push them off the rails, like when there's no rails on the side, so you can just easily push them. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, you can do like a spin move. I'm gonna try to do it right now. Yeah, if you hit if you hit people, we do that. You can kill them. Yes, yeah, so it's not like Mario Kart. You legitimately just blow people up in this game. Hey, Red Gazelle. I passed you. I was going to try to kill a uh, mighty gazelle. It'd be kind of funny. Not that murder is ever funny, but... Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the... Uh... Those pink strips are pretty famous. That's where you recharge your energy. That should be apparent by now. I guess I didn't really want to say that. see how we are in the standings we should once again be first I don't see how it'd be physically possible for us not to be because they're freaking awesome mute city 2 let's go Mute City is also a very good theme. That's probably my s second or third favorite theme in all of F Zero. Big Blue being the first. This is the quote unquote theme song of the series, which is good. It's a good one. Definitely a good one to have. And my first lap goal is accomplished. I'm in the top three. It's a good place to be. Um, it's important to note, when you're racing, it's not always best to hold the power, like the gas button. Sometimes when you're making sharp turns, it's good to slow down a little bit. Right there, maybe. You can also drift, which is also a good way to do that. These are just tips from uh, someone who's not pro at this game by any means. I'd get I get the floor kicked out of me for freaking if I went up against a pro. Because people know how to like jump over half the map and there's a lot of crazy videos, you can look them up, they're insane. No, I just play the the game the old fashioned way, just staying on the road at all times. Samurai Goro, second place. He's a cool character. Big Blue 2, yes. More awesome theme song. Oh, see that guy in third? Or like that third character? That is James McCloud. For those of you who uh, who know your Nintendo, he is the father of Fox McCloud from uh, F-Zero, uh, not F-Zero, uh, Star Fox series. Now, obviously, this isn't the exact same one because he's a human and Fox is a fox, so... But when we get to the character backgrounds, you'll see that 
There's something a little bit iffy when you say that he's not related to the Star Fox series at all. So stay tuned for that. There's also a character that's modeled after Mario. There's there's so many like little references, and I'm about to die if I'm not careful. If I take a few bad hits, let's try not to let that happen. I almost just died because I looked away for a split second. If you do that in F Zero, you're asking for it. This game is not gonna hold your hand. Oh, for an, okay. I was like, oh, I better boost. Better grab that first while I can. Nice, nice, nice. White land. Dangerous steps. Okay. We'll see how dangerous your steps are, game. We're up for the challenge. Two. One. Oh, this might be the one. This might be the one that's really difficult to me. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a later track in the game. Oh no, it's this one. It is this one. There are plenty of sections where there's no railing. And this part can be kind of tricky if you're not careful. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage, but thankfully there's health. Here's the track where I'm gonna try to kill someone. Oh, Red Gazelle, hey, how you doing, buddy? You want to be the person that wants to eat the, eat the uh, something not good. Eat something not good, I know. Oh, that's what I get for trying to be greedy. I try to kill, uh, I try to kill Mighty Gazelle, and Karma was like, dude, that's not cool, and I died. So let's try that again. If I can kill someone on this uh, map to show you guys, that'd be cool, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, I got a kill! You see that? I pushed him off. It was worth it. He blew up next to me, too. Alright, now that I showed it off, I'm not going to worry about it anymore on this map. I'm going to just finish off this cup, get it over with. I still have three lives, so I'm not terribly worried, but... Okay, don't push me off, don't push me off, get out of here. Alright, first place, nice. Damn right I got boost power. Yeah, this game may not have quote unquote great graphics, but you cannot deny it runs as smooth as frickin' butter. Yeah, it's pretty easy on the ears as well. Sure, I 
finishing first though. Home stretch coming up and someone's right on my tail. Now we're good. Good job, Captain Falcon. Staying true to for your freaking nature and being an absolute badass. I helped, but you're still a badass by yourself. Congratulations. I remember when I was little, I, uh, when I was playing this game. It's kind of funny to think about it now, but back then, I'd be like, oh, this ship is the best because it looks it looks the coolest. And uh, clearly that's not the case. Um, I mean, not clearly. We haven't really played any bad ships yet, but I used to be like, okay, this ship's going to go faster because it's got more boosters in the back or something like that. That was my little you know, six-year-old or whatever mine my logic. Kind of funny, just a little story. First place, baby. Show me a move. One more cup to complete, and then we'll have to go back through them again on a harder difficulty to unlock the other tracks. 